Alright guys, let me tell you a story. And let me make this clear, this is something that actually happened to me yesterday. This isn't like the Sam Pepper story. That was bullshit. This is true. So, I've just moved in with my mum about a month ago, so I don't actually have my own pair of keys. I only have one key, and there's two locks on the door. Which means that if someone locks both of the locks, I can't get in. So yesterday, I came home from uni, and I discovered that someone's locked both the doors, so I'm locked out, and no one's home. So I just wait outside for a bit. My phone is dead as well, so there's no way I can contact someone. So I'm just locked outside waiting for someone to come home. And I really, really need to pee. And it doesn't help that it's raining and there's water everywhere. So I wait outside for literally about an hour, maybe even a bit more. I have no idea since my phone was dead. I don't know how long I was waiting. But yeah, some of the neighbours were looking at me a bit suspiciously. Because I was just waiting outside the house when no one was home. And they don't really know me because I've only been here about a month. So I get tired of waiting after about an hour because I really, really need to pee. So basically, there's an alleyway at the back of my garden, which means if I go to the alleyway, I can climb over the fence and go into my shed. Now my shed is like my second bedroom. That's where I do all of my recording. I have a lot of my stuff in there. There's electricity. So I can actually stay there for quite a while. There's also a freezer with ice cream in it, so that's a bonus. So I decide, okay, I'm just going to go... Go climb over the fence. So I go to the back of the alleyway and I see that the fence is actually quite high. I could climb over it, but it's raining and I have my laptop with me. I don't really want to risk falling on my laptop and breaking it. So I look around for something to stand on and someone's left a plastic chair there. So I get that chair, I put it next to the fence and I climb over that way so I don't have to risk that much climbing over. So I get into the shed and yeah, I just go on my laptop charge my laptop, have some ice cream, everything's good, I wait for my mum to come home. She came home about an hour after that, so it's good that I went in, otherwise I would have had to stay there for two hours in the rain. So she opens the door for me, the back door, she gets a bit scared because she wasn't expecting me to be there. But she opens the door for me and everything's fine. So maybe, maybe two hours after that, so now it's dark, and my mum says, okay, I just need to pop out for a bit. So I say okay, I go back up to my room, I close the door behind me, so I'm in my room with the door shut and no one's home. So I hear some, about half an hour later, I hear someone downstairs, so I'm just assuming my mum's home. But then someone comes upstairs and they open my door, but they're not actually, like, if it was my mum, they would have knocked first, first of all, because my mum's nice like that. Um, and also, she would have said something. This person just opened the door, didn't show who they were, and just weren't saying anything. So I automatically assumed it was someone that broke into the house. So I got up, I ran after them. There, this It's just one guy, so I think I can take him. And it's quite a short guy as well. So he starts running, and I run after him. And he runs downstairs, and he goes through the back door, and leaves and he sh slams the back door shut in my face so he slams the door shut in my face I lock the door and I go for the phone to call the police and guess what number I call 911 now that might that might seem pretty normal if you're American but I live in England I called the American police which just shows that I watch too much American TV so I, I quickly hang up call the English police before they get here, my mum gets here, so I tell her, just stay in the car, lock the door, just in case they're still there. Because while I was on the phone to the police, I could see the guy in the garden trying to get out. So the police comes over, my mum comes back inside, we check if anything's stolen, and it wasn't. They weren't there. They weren't there for enough time to steal anything, and I chased him out, so he couldn't have grabbed anything on the way. So yeah, I just explained to the police what's happened. Um, they tell us to check if anything's stolen, they get the forensic team in, and... Basically, what they say is that there's a chair in the alleyway behind the garden and he used that to climb up, so they're gonna DNA test it. And I'm just shitting myself now, like, should I tell them I broke into the house earlier? Like, and all the neighbours saw me as well and the police said they're gonna take, they're gonna take statements from all the neighbours to see if anything suspicious was going on. And I was being really suspicious that day and I was the one that was touching that chair. So yeah, I'm just sitting there and 
hoping no one says anything about me breaking in earlier. But luckily they didn't, but now, because they took the forensic team, took DNA samples from that chair, and my DNA was on there, next time I try and commit a crime, they'll put two and two together, I think. Or if the police ever get my DNA, they'll think I was the one that was breaking in the house. So yeah, that, that's just something that happened to me yesterday. I thought it was quite funny, so I shared it with you guys. Give me a like if you enjoyed the story. Tell me if you want to hear more stories like this. But I don't know if I... I do have some stories I might want to tell, but I promise I won't make anything up. Anyway, guys, I've been Naz, you've been terrific, and I'll see you in my next video. Guys, where do I begin on this topic? YouTube has become so unfair recently with the content they allow... Oh, come on. There's three of us going out. Come on, let me have it. Let me have it. <laughs>